Alright guys, good morning. It's about 8 a.m. It's muscle loader season, but I've got my got my longbow with me. I'm out hunting uh, kind of against my own advice. <laughs> Had a guy from the YouTube channel that asked me about question about hunting nocturnal deer and my advice was hang your trail cameras and don't hunt it until the deer turn just until you start seeing some deer move during the daytime otherwise you're just making the situation worse I don't have any pictures of daytime deer but I also haven't checked my cameras in over a week so That said, I haven't seen any deer. I saw one coyote. I'm gonna do a quick overview of the camera equipment I use. So my main camera is a Canon HFS 200. You have to use the SD cards. So um, I'd recommend a 32 gigabyte SD card that's gonna last you for a while so problem I have right now is the wind is so strong my batteries died on my external mic so I'm using the onboard mic on the camera which will pick up any wind or anything like that and uh, it can ruin your audio which is no good <laughs> microphone I use it's an SGC 598 made by Tackstar um, and it comes with the little foam cover and I bought uh, this little fuzzy hair cover wind screen protector whatever uh, for like five bucks on eBay so um, I really like this it, it was like 35 40 bucks compared to a $200 road mic um, read a lot of reviews and this thing performs just as good almost um, it's got the it's got a switch here you can switch it from zero decibels to 10 decibels that comes in handy so you don't have to go into the settings and change things if um, you need to adjust the volume a little bit um, show you how that goes on to the camera or is it so uh, get this little hot shoe adapter and it, the microphone will hook right up and then you just plug it in you're ready to go turn it on next up we have my secondary camera which is awesome to capture what's actually happening up in the tree stand in, in that moment it's a GoPro Honestly, I think I bought this GoPro for 100 bucks on eBay. It's their cheap hero version. Well, we buy a lot of these. We use them for uh, our dirt bikes, helmet cams. We use them uh, for hunting and a little bit of everything. So um, you, can, you can buy this little swivel clamp arm deal for about 15 bucks on eBay. Then we've got my uh, tripod, or my fluid head, it's a Manfrotto 700RC2, I picked it up for about $80 on eBay, um, it really makes a big difference guys. So we've got our Bebop engineering zoom control. It plugs into the camera right here. And uh, 
You have your on and off. Of course. They're great. So with this controller, um, you want to set your camera to manual. And when you push the focus button right here, um, if you, right now, it's, it's locked in manual focus and this is my zoom. Okay. If I want to, let's see right now I'm focused in like right here on this branch, right? It's going to stay there. If I want to focus in on this bank over here, okay, I just, I'd hold down the focus button and it changes to instant focus. Now I let go. Then I zoom out. No matter what I do, it's going to stay focused on that bank over there. Okay. Now you can also push the button once and this light flashes. This is still a manual focus. Now I can change my focus. Manually. Okay. But I do not like that option. It's too takes too long. I like to quickly be able to go over, focus on something, and zoom back out. Alright, that's my setup. I've got a GoPro Hero. Got a Canon HFS 200. Uh, got my homemade camera arm. Got my um, Tackstar microphone. And I've got my Manfrotto fluid head. I've got the Bebop Engineering zoom control. Another good zoom control is the Very Zoom. I've heard good things about it. So, you guys are watching E-Factor Outdoors. Stay tuned.